Lastly, I wish to say one or two things. One is that uh, we, as Chama Chama Shinani, you will recall, we were indeed the first party to do a handshake with the Jubilee. The rationale behind that was that we wish to ensure peace. And we want to thank the leadership of Jubilee because they have gone out of their way to bring all the leaders to work together. Working together does not mean abandoning our ideals and abandoning our political parties. It means we are opening a new chapter in this country. This is indeed the first period in history in which we will have a peaceful period of development between elections to the next elections. And we want immediately after that election again, the leaders who will be elected and those who will not win should come together and ensure a peaceful country. We want to ensure that handshake between competitors becomes a norm in this country, a culture, that we do not continue competing even during times when we should be allowing children to grow and to go to school and we are throwing stones in town for reasons that we cannot understand. We must leave electioneering after every election and we cooperate. Political parties are formed to espouse specific ideals. We as Chama Chama Shinan will continue to expose our deals of stronger devolution, more resources to be spread across the country, and better governance uh, system. And we'll work together in that line with the Jubilee, and we want to assure Kenyans that we are also for peace. We don't want a chaotic country. We have been part of that history. We've been around, of course. Uh, Kalonzo Mushoka has been a little bit ahead of us, but we've been together through several periods after elections and we have seen the problems that happen when leaders refuse to work together. For now, we want to assure Kenyans that we are moving forward peacefully and uh, support the president in his development agenda. Thank you very much and uh, may I hand it